So would you be able to tell me about the incident? I was on our daily walk. This one time I thought I saw a squirrel, so I ran like the wind. But when I got there, there was no squirrel. I went to head back, and the next thing I knew, I was being picked up by some stranger. A muzzle was put over my mouth, and I was put in a cage. After that, I was trained, injected, and abused. One day, I was put into this large box of sorts, and in front of me it was this badger. I didn't want to let my masters down, and I was terrified of what they'd do to me. I charged at the badger, and I lunged forward. I held him in my jaw and locked on. I shook it about, and then it went limp between my teeth. After I realised what I'd done, I dropped it. I was ashamed of what I'd done. The crowd, they had to split us up. And then I saw the badger run away. A wave of relief washed over me. I'm not a killer. That's not what I am. Did you not think about escaping too? Well, yeah, of course. I thought about running, catching up with the badger. But then what would I even say? Oh yeah, sorry about the scars, but can I take along with you? A couple of days after the fight, some other humans in shiny clothes came in and put metal collars on my master's hand. Soon after, a human in a white coat, he'd come and grab me and he put me in a white room. They'd give me an haircut and they washed me and all. I felt like a new dog. Soon after that, I'd get to meet my owners again. I can't tell you how much I'd miss them. And they were so happy to see me. So you were home safe again, all of this behind you? I, I could never forget that badger's face. The fear in their eyes. I wonder where they are now. I hope they're okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I want to tell them that. It's not who I am. It's really not. I'm so sorry. Wildlife matters.